everyone knows someone who's been diagnosed with cancer. My first bout of feeling the devastation of cancer is when my oldest son was diagnosed with cancer. When you first even knew that he had cancer, it was feeling that fear and not knowing what to do. But in 2008, my father was diagnosed with cancer, lung cancer. And we knew, we were told at the time, what the outcome would be. And then that's when I learned that there wasn't anything here to help local cancer patients. So we decided to start an organization, um, really grassroots, from the ground up. I am cancer free. I am also hair free and nail free. And Yoli helped me emotionally. She helped me everything. I mean, they, they, they paid my utilities, they paid my cell phone bill. We improved the quality, quality of life of local cancer patients. And when you think that there's nobody around and you don't have help, um, she's, she was there for us. What's amazing about what we're, the way we're doing it is that we are a volunteer organization. And the idea is what are you going to do to make it sustainable? Because in the work that we are doing, finding the funding is what's challenging. We have a signature cancer fundraiser. And when you're fundraising, you have to make it fun. So we have La Gran Fiesta. We have helped over 400 cancer patients to over $450,000 of assistance of basic living needs.